Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101 video where we're going to provide an introduction to our newest feature, which is segmentation. At the end of this video, you're going to be able to understand how we set up segment logic. You're going to be able to create segments of subscribers based on custom criteria, save these segments for future use, and export lists of subscribers that are members of a particular segment. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your Beehive account. Uh, you're going to navigate to the top nav where it says uh, audience and click on segmentation, which will take you to a screen that looks similar to this. But if you haven't created a segment yet, it'll be empty. So to create your first segment, we're going to click on create segment. And there's going to be four different parts to a segment. The first simply is the name. The segment is going to be the segment type, dynamic versus static. Dynamic segments will update over time as subscribers meet the criteria that you set up, whereas static segments are going to be created once and then will not be updated again unless you rerun the query. The value there being you can kind of keep a running list, an active kind of living list of dynamic uh, you know, users in a segment based on behavior, whereas there may be some occasions where you only want to have a specific set of users that you communicate with, um, you know, perhaps from an event or something like that over time. Next, uh, we actually start the logic. So there's going to be three different uh, types of logic that we can set up. The first is going to be attributes. The second one's going to be measurement um, attributes. And the third is going to be groupings. Uh, on top of that, we're also going to have this ability to choose whether we must require users to meet all of the logic that we set up or at least one of them. And so logically, this is going to be the difference between an and statement and an or statement. And with the all of the following conditions, a user must meet each of these different criteria with an or statement or the, you know, at least one of, it could be this logic or this logic or this logic. Starting from the bottom, we're going to start with uh, this grouping uh, mechanism, which will allow us to group uh, multiple types of criteria all within one line item. This will allow us to make some targeting way more robust than if we were just saying, uh, you know, you can meet a criteria or meet some, you know, another criteria. Um, this helps you get way more granular with who you're targeting. And I'll show you an example of that uh, in the next video. The second, uh, the second one here we have working from the bottom up is measurements. So these are going to be things like clicks, click through rate, open rates, open sends. Um, you know, just looking at clicks, um, we can oh, just looking at clicks, we can see that, um, you know, we have a bunch of these drop down options and we can choose a num numeric uh, number here as long as as well as refine that number to say, you know, uh, you know, it happened, an event happened within the particular number of days. So what this logic would look like would be uh, create a segment of users who have clicked uh, exactly five times within the last seven days. And that's a very specific piece of logic. You probably wouldn't want to use that, you know, specifically, but who knows? You may come up with a good use case for that. What's more common would be, you know, clicks are greater than zero over... 30 days, for example. Um, but you know, you can do this across each of these different uh, e each of these different metrics. Lastly, we have the attribute setting, which is going to allow you to ch pick from um, things like channel, a user's email address, their sign up date, their status, whether they're subscribed or unsubscribed, their tier, which would mean free or premium user, as well as UTM attributes of where they came to your publication from. So in terms of, uh, you know, these attributes, we have a list of different types of logic that you can set um, and then choose from the different ways that a user might come into your Beehive publication. Uh, we also have things like email, similar logic, but you could put in Gmail, for example, which would select any user who uh, uses Gmail or Yahoo, you know, anything like that if you put in Yahoo. So basically, these are kind of the, the different tools we have here, um, very powerful ways to create segmentation to uh, understand, you know, how users are using your publication, how much they're engaging. Um, and some, some more use cases that we'll get into in the next video. Um, we're going to go over some of these examples and how to set them up. 
Um, but this has been kind of a quick introduction to this newest feature of creating segments. I um, hope you stick around and check out part two. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing what you create and growing alongside with you.